Hello Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. I do your reading almost daily and I upload your videos right away so these messages are current. In this reading, we are going to get you some answers in regards to your career and finance. I have uh, received many requests to do this reading. Maggie Ta, SHPO7100, Catherine C, Stephanie Kumar, Andrea Tan, uh, Prena, Prena. Dren and Jangar. So here we go. Uh, we're going to first ask, uh, for those of you who like to start a new business, what's the most likely outcome for your business? Just give me one second, please. Okay, Spirits and Angels, new business. Is it a good idea? What's the most likely outcome for Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius? Ace of Wands and Reverse. Okay, so here, here's what I'm seeing. We've got the Wheel of Fortune and also we've got the Lovers here. But the Lovers here is in Reverse. So it feels like it is a choice. If you want to start a new business, it can be successful as long as you actually love doing it with the Knight of Cups here. And we've also got the Page of Swords here. That means you need to really, really do your research. You can't, if you just jump right into a, a new business without doing your research here, it might not turn out um, to be what you expect it to be. Okay, the outcome will not be that favorable, will not be that good because the Nine of Wands is here and the King of Cups here is in love first. So something about putting, uh, it's like it, it has to be something that you love to do, but at the same time, you need, you need both, right? Both something that you love to do, but at the same time, you need all of the information, um, you really, really need to do your research because the page of swords, somebody who does a lot of research, gather a lot of information. And then Wheel of Fortune also can indicate online, internet, right? So something online, perhaps something also, if it's not about online, Wheel of Fortune can indicate um, a business where you can, where it's just not local, like international, where if you're selling something, if you sell it internationally, where it can reach international uh uh, buyers then uh, i think it will be a good business to uh, venture into all right but just be really careful it feels like there are a lot of cards you can indicate uh, some setbacks or delays but um will of fortune again is in upright position but with the lovers and lovers it, it still feels like it is your choice okay and that means you need to choose carefully make sure again that you do all of the research that you need before you embark into this new business will of fortune also can again could be internet something that i'm sensing also with really low capital that you don't have to put in a lot of money before you start maybe start small first that's what i'm getting here kind of you need to test the market as well all right that's the first question and we're going to ask the second question for those of you wondering if you should if you should stay in your current job or leave we're going to find out spirits and angels please show me should leo aries and sagittarius fire signs stay or leave their current job Okay, my first, the first inkling for me, it says to stay because Page of Cups is in an upright position, right? But Four of Swords here indicates you needing to think long and hard whether you should stay or leave. But I feel like the first card that came out says to stay unless you have a better idea. <laughs> unless, because Page of Cups can be quite creative. Uh, somebody who thinks out of the box or box or it's an offer before you leave your job make sure you have a really good offer an offer that is going to interest you is going to make you feel happier um 
then only I feel like then only would be a good idea for you to leave. If you're really unhappy with where you're at right now, uh, Spirit says four swords here. Yeah, make sure you think long and hard, but then make sure that you have like a job already, a job offer, or you found another job before you leave your current job. All right, so let's ask your uh third question will be your financial status prediction in the in the near future nine of cups okay nine of cups that indicates your wishes are coming true so whatever you've been wishing for to make more money it's going to happen again it indicates a choice the love is here isn't well first death card okay so it feels like for some of you, it's you uh, deciding to leave, to leave and end a job uh, from the past. I mean, your current job, and then maybe you embark into in something new with the Nine of Cups here. I feel like this is, you know, the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment energy. So it feels like your wishes are going to come true. But also at the same time, it feels like it's a choice. Some of you, again, it feels like with the death card here, if you transform, may not always mean you leaving a job, but, you know, death card can indicate transformation. But some of you, if you make some transformation in regards to your finances or your career, then your wish is going to come true with the nine of cups here. All right, we're going to ask, will you be happy in your career? Will you get the job you've applied for? <laughs> These are the questions from the subscribers. Um, let's see. Okay, so we got the Seven of Pentacles here and what first. I feel like right now a lot of you are not happy in your current job, but eventually you will be. Nine of Cups here. Because I feel like some of you are going to leave your job and you'll be happier after you leave your job, okay? Hmm. And for those of you asking if you will get the job that you've applied for, Nine of Cups here as the last card, it says yes. Because it looks like some of you, yeah, pentacles are in reverse if you're jobless right now. Yeah, you feel like the empress here is in reverse, not making money or not making enough money. Eventually, nine of cups, I'm happy to see the nine of cups and seven of pentacles here is in reverse. You see the money eventually. feels like um, if you've been applying for a job, if, if you're jobless, yes, you will. You will get a job. <laughs> a nine of cups. Um, whichever job that you've been wishing for, it is going to come true. Nine of Cups has come out twice already for you guys. So that means your wishes are coming true when it comes to your finances and career. All right. This is your reading, Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I rarely do career finance reading. I, I used to do it a lot when I first started this channel, but it looks like not many people are interested in it. <laughs> So hence I just like cut it down, but since I have these uh, requests on my community page, but don't don't request any more because it's just way too much for me already. To over uh, it's overwhelming for me to want to do to do everybody's readings. It feels like a personal reading, so um, I'm gonna close it already. Okay, <laughs> don't request any more. But anyway, um. I hope you resonated. I hope it helped in some way, shape, or form. And also send me, uh, not not send me. I'm going to leave you with one video on the screen right now. This video is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. If you're interested, check it out. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And lately, I've been posting a lot of your videos. I know some people don't like it because it's, it's a collective reading and it's not like a single sign reading. I'll still do single signs reading, but whenever I feel like to. I just need to do something different right now. And thank you for your understanding. And also when it comes to collective readings, for me personally, I resonate more with collective reading. There's so many tarot readers who would just do like a collective reading for all 12 signs. And I still watch it and it still resonates. So, but we've got some of those very, very <laughs> picky ones. Um, but it doesn't matter. If you don't want to watch, it's fine. If you want to unsubscribe, it's fine for me as well. Um, 
I'm growing, I'm changing, so I just want to do something different. Uh, I don't want to be a robot doing the same thing every single day. But anyway, take care, fire signs, and I hope to see you back here next time. Bye.